Luke Smith here at the Waves booth, AES 2016. Everybody on Gear Sluts. Steve, thanks a lot for coming by and checking out all our new stuff. Uh, we wanted to make sure people were aware of something we announced a few days ago called SoundGrid Connect. And SoundGrid Connect is a really big deal for a lot of people who want to use Waves DSP. Now, if you take a look at our desk here, you might ask yourself why on earth we have a Personas audio box uh, on what is also a DigiGrid station, right? The point is that you know DigiGrid as a product line always requires you to uh, you know buy into our audio interfaces in order to use our DSP, and there was a legitimate technical reason for that. If we take a look at how our DSP plugins actually work in your DAW, that's this Studio Rack plugin. I'm connected to SoundGrid mode, and we found that we really wanted to give users, when they're on our DSP, a way to manage the latency, even if they're at a high buffer. Like, so if you're at a 1024 buffer, you're almost done with your track. Oh crap, I got to do an overdub, put in a record arm. I want to use a couple plugins on that track as I'm listening and recording the input. And even more importantly, I want whoever's recording to hear what I'm doing with those plugins in their headphones without any latency, right? Of course, of so course. so this feature specifically gives you that option, right? And that again is why up until now you needed to buy DigiGrid IO in order to use SoundGrid DSP in your DAW. But the the beauty of this new SoundGrid Connect thing is if you take a look at our software, I now see the Personas audio box as an IO device. Ooh. So I don't actually need any of our DigiGrid I.O. devices at all. All I really need, if I want it, is a Wave DSP engine. And so we have these DSP engines that actually aren't part of the DigiGrid line that we've been selling to live sound guys for a very long time and are a fraction of the cost of all the DigiGrid products that have Wave SoundGrid DSP engines in them because they're not I.O. boxes, they're just DSP boxes. So we have an Intel i3 based uh, impact server it's called which is an ethernet port on the back of it for about 800 bucks and you get a ton of power out of even that one and that's our entry level server uh, so with your own interface and uh, waves DSP engine you can now offload without having to buy DigiGrid, uh, uh, DigiGrid IO to do it stay in the same playback engine you've always worked in and just add some waves DSP to it so that's what SoundGrid connects all about we're really excited about it